Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can send an email invite to people using Zoho. So let's get right into it. Now, uh, even though you will be sending it to their Zoho email address or for that matter, any email address that they are using, you will be using Zoho Calendar. So I am using, because of that, a tutorial I have found on the internet with the Zoho Calendar app. Uh, and I do recommend you check out this article if you do have any other questions, but without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, this has a couple of different things, such as actually sending the invites, uh, checking the availability, or even uh, checking the email delivery status. So I'll be covering all three in this video. Firstly, to send an invite, you need to log into Zoho Calendar and click the new event button in the left pane of your calendar. Uh, and in the create event tab, uh, provide the event title, date, and time, then provide the email address of the at attendees uh, in the attendees field, and you can choose the attendees uh, email addresses from the drop down if the attendees are in your contacts or if they are from within your organization, as you can see here. So make sure you provide their email address on Zoho. Uh, then uh, you can also send invites to other attendees uh, from outside. You just need to type the complete email address and you can send it to a group of attendees. Uh, within your organization if you have a group uh, in your contacts and you can type the group name and you can send it to all of them then you need to provide the other details of the event and click save and then you can send the uh, invitation and the pop-up uh, will appear when you click send invitation and you need to choose to attendees and yourself attendees only or to none and that is all you have to do to send it now to check availability log into the calendar click new event in the create event uh, provide everything as i've already stated provide the email addresses of the attendees in the attendees field uh, then uh, once you're they've they've been chosen uh, the availability section will show the next five best possible time slots where a majority are available and you can also filter choices uh, between earliest this week next week and so forth uh, then you can select the time slot which works for all participants uh, you can also check uh, the detailed availability of the participants using the manage and view free slash busy option uh, then you provide the other details of the event and click save uh, then uh, in the following case uh, this feature is not supported if they are repeat events uh, if all day events or events having the duration of more than 24 hours are selected or past events now to check uh, the delivery status, log into the calendar, click on the event you want to check, uh, then uh, an event view pop-up will appear. And then if all your event invites have been delivered, you will find the all invites delivered message in the participant section. If any weren't delivered, uh, you'll find an undelivered message in the participants section. And then click on all invites delivered or undelivered, undelivered message for more information and a pop-up for the email uh, event for the event email invite will appear uh, with the list of all invites delivered and bounced uh, then for invites which haven't been yet delivered there are three possible errors a hard bounce which is unable to send the event email since the email address is incorrect a soft bounce uh, which is due to a server error or your recipient's mailbox being full or delayed with the event invitation being delayed uh, in this case it will be resent uh, which can either get delayed or delivered again or bounce back again. In both cases, you'll have the option to resend it manually. And in the case of a hard bounce, you will have the option to modify the email address and resend it. Uh, then for soft bounces and delayed cases, you can try resending the invite using the resend button. And that is pretty much all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.